Hello everyone, my name is Santorin Marie Rivera Ramon and the story I show is the Ronson play by Alan Bernard. I'm gonna start with the story art. The citation is the best friend. Steve and Johnny, they have seven years old and they have to pass through a Ronson play every day at daylight. The rising action is when Steve's mother sent him to the grocery at night in alone and he has to pass through the lonesome place. So when he passes, he can feel that someone is watching him and he thinks it's a monster without a face. The climax is, uh, is one night, uh, Steve went to the lonesome place and he feel the, the monster, so he ran up. But Johnny see the monster and, and the monster rip off his chair with, with his claw, but he can escape too. The falling action is when Steve and Johnny grew up and they tried to forget that night and never came again to the lonesome place. And the resolution is when they found out that a boy named Bobby was murdered in the lonesome place by the monster and they kind of feel responsible in guilt because they knew about the monster in the lonesome place and they didn't say Some things in the story are death, uh, when Bobby was murdered by the monster in the lonesome place. Uh, another theme is mystery when Steve went to the lonesome place and he can feel that someone is watching him but he don't know who it is. Uh, secrecy, when they found out there was a monster in the, in the lonesome place. They didn't say anything because they knew no one was gonna believe them. And guilt, that's when they found out the Bobby's Death, and he can feel responsible because they knew it was a monster in the lonesome place and they didn't say any art to symbolize the lonesome place and the monster. The lonesome place represents the narrator fear of darkness and the monster represents the, the nightmarish of the narrator. He is scared of dark and he creates a monster. No, I'm gonna kind of summary the environment, the ambient, the setting, and some method of representation that is the other in the story. Some method of uh, presentation are the use of flashback, foreshadowing, and chronological order. The order. The author begins with a flashback and kind of foreshadowing because they kind of tell the narrator tell what happened to to him, but then he explains it with detail and more specific. The story is very dramatic. It's really tense since the beginning to the end. And it's kind of realistic too, because it's a boy that uh, has a fear of darkness, of, of darkness, and he created a monster. Hello, everyone has a fear when it, when he was little and was a scare of monster and and ghosts and other things. Uh, the author don't specify the the. The, the time and place that tell the story, but the environment was a lonesome place, very isolated, very haunted, very creepy, all dark, no light, uh, surrounded of, of trees, and no human lived there. And it's kind of, the lonesome place is like between the rural town in the small town so you have to pass only to that lonesome place to get in the rural town on in the small town and the ambience is really tense really painful it's very creepy but it 
it's also realistic. You kind of well, you are shock all the all the story section about the story. I'm gonna talk about now. Uh, the story is really interesting. Uh, I love the way the author Agus presents this story of a boy that has a fear of darkness and he kind of lives a nightmare. And because when I was little, I was scared of the cuckoo, and when I live in a field, so when my Sometimes my mom and I send me to my grandmother's house and I have to, to walk in a, in a dark place and the, the sounds, it was so creepy that I was always running, get super scared. So when I read this story, I you know, identify with the narrator as this and I can imagine all the the scene, like it was me who the author was talking about. Although it was a gothic story and it's really creepy and really dark, it's also a lesson to all of us because we all have fear, but if you don't, if you don't recognize it, you can't say it to anyone who can help you. If you don't get over it, uh, you can hurt other people that was happening to the narrator. He didn't say anything and they found that a boy was murdered by the ghost and it's... Hello, it can be possible with a monster in there, but very maybe it was uh, the boy because of his, uh, his fear, he... He killed himself or something like that, we don't know. So if you don't get over your feet, you can do, do things that, that you can regret it and it can hurt other people. Other lesson that I really, really love and it's something that today is happening is the parents don't listen to, to their sons. Uh, her, uh, his relation with his mother is, is kind of without confidence, confidence because his mother Trey, he's seven years old, so like an adult. Hello, he's seven years. He want to, to be her, he want to, to live a child life. He don't want to be an adult. And how you can send your seven years old son in night to the grocery alone? He can be. He will be kidnapping, or he uh, he will he can be killed. He could be some some someone else. So it's a lesson for parents that you have to pay attention to to your children. You need to to listen to them, to to question him. If if he's alright, if he's feeling, if, if he needs something that they know they have parents parents that love him and that love them and and care about them. So I really love this story. It, it was it was scary, but but it was also cool because I cannot remember when what happened to me. So and it's really shocked because everyone have a fear when when it was little or oh now grown up you have some insecurities, some fear. So you need to 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 search help and find help and never never keep the fear with you. No, because they, they you can regret it later. So that's all. See you.